there are a lot of things that got me to run. Um, but most importantly, it was, I guess the straw that broke the camel's back was when I learned about our incumbent and how he had gerrymandered our district. And I looked at the lines and saw how over the years he chopped off two thirds of the voters in the district. And for me, um, giving people a voice and voting um, specifically is a trigger for me. Uh, taking away someone's voice is a big deal for me. Um, I grew up um, in Jamaica and when we came to the States when I was 10, um, I felt like I struggled hard to find my voice and be heard. And so not surprising that I think I've spent my entire career fighting to give people a voice. So when I saw Steve Barrar had basically cut away parts of his own hometown to make sure he got reelected, um, I, any doubts I had about jumping in the race were erased. Education is huge for me. Um, my parents moved here mainly so that my sister and I could pursue our American dream. But what that meant to them was basically so we could have a chance at a good public high school education and an opportunity to go on to college and an opportunity to have meaningful careers. Um, so education is hugely important to me and making sure that it's properly funded because in Pennsylvania and in this district, we have a problem where we have skyrocketing property taxes that have to cover the lack in state funding for public education. And that is going to continue as long as my opponent and his cronies continue to block any addressing of loopholes, which allow three out of every four Pennsylvania corporations to pay no corporate income tax. I think the biggest major difference is Steve Barrar has always put himself first. Um, he's very good at holding his own job. Um, in, you know, cutting up your own hometown so you can stay in office, um, listening to your senior party advisors, even though the positions you take are so far beyond the pale that the majority of Republicans in your own district don't support those ideas. Um, that tells me that he's dangerously out of touch with the people in his district. And I can only believe that's because he believes that's what will continue to get him elected. My entire career, about the same length of time that Steve's been in office, I've been putting other people first. I have done the right thing in terms of standing up for the environment. I've done the right thing in terms of standing up for communities that are underrepresented. I've done the right thing in terms of using my legal expertise to defend people who couldn't afford a lawyer of their own. If my life has sort of, sort of been like a satellite around my children's life. Um, I got involved um, in education largely because of their educational journey. I got involved with serving on the board of a part-time progressive school that um, they attend. I gotten involved with forming the Land Conservancy for Southern Chester County, which literally was an organization that came out of a group of neighbors who were very concerned about a vulnerable and valuable ecosystem um, in our own backyards and wanting to protect it um, to make sure that my kids could, would continue to enjoy sort of that ability to commune with nature that they had when we moved here. Pol politics is public service. Um, your career doesn't exist but for the fact that people put trust in you. And my entire career, I've been in a position where people have trusted me to be their voice, to be their problem solver, to be their advocate and their champion. I think a lot of politicians consider themselves leaders in the sense that they walk into a room. This may be a little to do with the fact that it is such a male dominated profession. Walk into a room and say, I've got an idea. It's my way or the highway, take it or leave it. I think you look at what's happening in Washington, you look at what's happening in Harrisburg, and a lot of it is because of that sort of attitude. Well, it doesn't work for me.
families here are feeling and feeling more and more concerned about their young people going to school, about being in public places. And we have an elected official who is standing in the face of the consensus between Republicans and Democrats, gun owners and non-gun owners. People in this neck of the wood want universal background checks. And we have a leader who spent the majority of his career fighting vociferously against that. And, and the fact that he's doing it so vociferously and so obviously when even his Republican peers aren't or have changed their positions really shows just how dangerously out of touch he is with the community. Hmm. Oh, just keep doing what you're doing. Sister District, you guys have been amazing. The fundraisers are great. Um, people phone banking. I see that people have been phone banking for me in sister districts. I, I, I'll be up there in September, I think, for a fundraiser that I'll be attending, or perhaps two. Every, basically everything that's happened this summer in the campaign has happened in part because of the support of sister districts. Whether it's the small money donations, volunteers that have come up, that's, that's all been amazing because all of those things are hard to find, especially at this time of year. There are a lot of really smart problem solvers in this group um, because these notes came out of, I was handwriting one when somebody visited me. I think it was Ann Smith visited me and I was handwriting one and she said, oh, what are you doing? I was like, oh, in my free time, I tend to write these out so I can write them indoors. And I was like, it, it takes a long time. She's like, we can do that. The, week, the next week I got... May, I got them in my mail, which is perfect, because that saves me a couple hours a day, which allows me to spend more time talking to people instead of sitting at my desk. Um, so yeah, so as things pop up, for, I was gonna say for people in sister districts, how you can help me is, yeah, continue to use your problem solving skills. If you think there is something that you would enjoy doing to help support the campaign, let me know, send me an email, I'm happy to consider new ways to connect with the people in my district.